Hello and welcome back. And uh, in this video, we're going to be creating this uh, this particular view. So this is uh, if you uh, know already. Uh, so there is a uh, there is an app uh, for uh, that's related to Apple Watch. It's called Activity, and these are called Activity Rings. So we're going to be creating this progress bar Activity Rings. And the way it works is we we're going to basically combine our shapes knowledge to create this effect on the slider. And uh, we're going to create these three consecutive rings um, that are going to be inside each other. And uh, they'll be actually uh, uh, sort of like, you know, progressing or filling the space depending upon how the progress has been achieved, right? So this is our activity and uh, we, are, we are achieving that activity by sliding this slider. Pretty simple. Okay. So this is the progress bar. Uh, that we're going to create in this video. So let's go ahead and get uh, started with this. Okay, so I have my view uh, created here, my template created here called custom progress bar. What I'm going to do first is basically create a struct where we're going to create our circle progress. Okay, so let's create a struct and we're going to call this circle progress. And then it's going to have a binding. So at binding, so this time we're going to we're not going to use um, at state, but at binding because we're going to supply this value and report this value back to the caller. Okay. Um, so progress with CG float. Going to have variable as color. So it's going to take color as a initializer and we're going to create a computer property current progress or current percentage and that property is going to be progress times 100 okay and uh, as you notice there's no return uh, so return is not required so it's 5.1 and above for single statement for computer properties and for any other property in that for that matter uh, so that's why we are actually going to elaborate the fact and now uh, we're going to create our bar body some view and here we are simply going to create a circle first we're going to trim that circle Okay, we're going to basically trim the shape uh, by the amount, um, as, as you can see, like, you know, trim the shape by a fractional amount based on its representation as a path. So we are actually creating this trimmed path. And we're going to have provide start value. Start value is going to be zero. And the end value is going to be the value of the progress, which initially is going to be zero. Then we're going to provide a stroke for this. And we're going to use color that's being passed as an initializer um, for the color of the stroke with style, stroke style. We're going to only uh, care about a few things. So let's write those. So line width, then it's 40. Line cap is going to be round. Okay, those are the only two things that we care about. Now, rotation effect is something that we want to uh, rotate this so we start the progress at the top, okay? So we're going to rotate this by degrees negative 90, okay? And we're going to have a background. So we saw that shade, that faded background, uh, that effect we want to actually achieve as well. So we want to achieve it by using a background circle with stroke color the color that's been provided and provide an opacity to it of 0 0.2 okay and also give this a style right and style is actually going to be exactly the same as this like so okay and that is it that's your circle progress as you can see how easy it is to basically create this circular progress 
Uh, if you have created anything like this in uh, storyboards, you know how easy it is now. Uh, well, let's go ahead and create three state variables, red circle, progress, CG float, green circle, progress, Now, time to write some, some of the code for our body uh, for this circular, for custom progress bar. We're gonna create our V stack, okay? And in this V stack, we're gonna create a Z stack, all right? And inside the Z stack, we're gonna have our circle progress. So we're gonna call our circle progress, this custom view. And uh, we're gonna give it a progress. So progress is gonna be, for first one is gonna be red circle progress with color, and these are custom colors that I've actually created. So you can actually create colors from UI colors, so that's what I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna use this color from UI color, okay? And uh, that matches closely to what activity rings uh, show. That's what these colors are. And we're gonna also give it a frame with height as 300. Okay, and uh, I'm gonna do the same thing with other circle progress. So progress, and this one is gonna be green circle with color as the other UI color. So let me take, grab that value. This is gonna be the green sort of color. Right, and uh, we will give this one a frame as well. So let's give it a frame with height as 200 in this case. Let's create third circle progress, progress, blue circle, and give it a color as well. And I'm gonna copy that other color. Okay, all right. Let's give it a frame with height as 100, okay? So let's go ahead and, and see what we've got so far. So what we should see basically a uh, ring with faded uh, color, yeah, there we go, okay. So uh, right now, all of our all of our values are one, that's why, right? So we are starting with one. So let's go ahead and give uh, this a, uh, this Z stack, right below the Z stack, we, we're gonna create three sliders. So slider with value. as red prog circle progress. Gonna give it a padding as well. As for the top, as 100, okay. And I'm gonna copy this and paste it three times. So I'm gonna have one slider for green circle and one slider for blue circle with 10, 10 as padding so they don't seem like, you know, too much strange from each other, so much far away. And we're gonna give it a padding of 40, okay. So let's go ahead and run this and see if our progress bars are behaving the way we want them to behave. And as you can see, it's that simple, that few lines of code and you have actually achieved um, most of it.
90% of it. The only thing remaining is showing those uh, arrows uh, that are part of activity, right? So let's go ahead and see how we can do that. So we can actually simply have overlay, okay? And for the overlay view, we're gonna use image and we're gonna use system, system name. Uh, first one is gonna be arrow dot right, okay? With alignment at stop, okay? So we try again. And uh, first, this needs to go inside a string. And there you go. We have that arrow appearing here. Now, the next ring is basically for move, I believe. And that has two rings, two arrows. Okay, so we can create that. So we can create our overlay. Okay, and for our overlay, we're going to create our Z stack, a Z stack that is going to take two images okay and both of the, those images are going to be this image right and image right with padding the second one is going to have padding for leading uh, space with 10 points okay and then the alignment as top all right there we go and as you can see we have these two arrows appearing here and for the third one, it's standing up or standing hours. That's the third activity. Uh, so we're going to create an overlay for that. And uh, we will simply say image and we want to arrow dot up with alignment dot top. Okay. And we save that. And there you go. You have your entire activity rings created for you with an active progress bar that you can interact with or integrate into your app. Okay, so that is how easy it is to basically create progress bars with some functional, uh, functional like with some functionality and custom UI and custom view uh, inside Swift UI. So with that, that we reached uh, to the end of this video. And uh, in upcoming videos, uh, we're gonna start exploring some uh, some more controls like stepper and tab views. And uh, eventually, uh, I wanna create a complex UI uh, just to show you how to combine all these to achieve a uh, custom UI uh, for yourself uh, by combining all these things that you have learned so far, okay? Our journey of learning is not over yet. It's pretty long, so stay tuned and uh, uh, yeah, and we will actually uh, uh, continue forward uh, from uh, next videos. So thanks again for watching.